Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, let's just go ahead and address the elephant in the room. I got my hair done again and it is not exactly what I wanted. I wanted more of the pastel purple, but whenever we got done um, lightening the roots and toning it, she put color on it from Pulp Riot, the, the color that I actually wanted, and it didn't take. You know, it just didn't, it did not want to set on my hair at all. It just washed right out. And so we put on this other color from Guy Tang, and um, it still didn't want to grab fully um, because like here the roots are purple and there's this mid section here where the color didn't really want to grab and then it grabbed everywhere else and I don't really know if any of you guys are hairdressers have you can you tell me more about what may be going on with my hair they said that my hair may be too porous to take on the hair color the super super light pastel but I mean I I'm not a hair person I don't know all I know is to go on Instagram or Pinterest and like Ooh, that color. Ooh, I like that color. So I really don't know what's going on. And my hair seems really, really healthy. Um, like, it has hardly any split ends in it. I just, I don't know. I just didn't want to do anything. And she had it fixed yesterday looking really, really cute. And had it curled and everything. I slept on it. Put it up on my head. Slept on it. So it's kind of this weird, funky shape right now. Um, I'm probably going to straighten it here in a second to get it all even. Because it's flipping in weird ways. Okay, anyways. Um... Sorry, this isn't a hair video. This is a makeup unboxing. This video, we are unboxing the Sephora Play Bag. And this is for the month of March. And I'm really excited to show it to you guys. I have already sneaked a peek at it. Um, but if you wanna see what I got, make sure you stick around. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, become part of the Wolf Pack today. And let's get into it. Oh, and one more thing before we get started on the unboxing. Sorry, that was the box opening. Um, my hair, I think I started out with like a sunset eye and then it transformed. I wasn't really sure what lip color to put with this hair. So I just went all out with the super, super bright pink. I'm getting kind of a Katy Perry vibe for some reason. I can't think of what music video it's reminded me of, but I'm just, this is definitely an intense look. And I know not everyone's gonna like it. I just wanted to play with color and see what was out there, um, what I could come up with and my, tabletop is an absolute mess as a result anyways <laughs> all right so this month we've got four let's see four or five six products and the bonus item that we have this month is a perfume I'm so glad they started putting these back in because that box and we got those little edible powders mushrooms something and you put to drink it I I didn't like that I missed my perfume samples um, this is from, this is Replica, Madison, Margiela, I can't pronounce any of this stuff. Devin does like me spraying a bunch of perfumes in the air because he has very, he's very sensitive to smells, but I have to give this a try. And look, it didn't even come full. It's only half full. Oh, but that's okay. Um, that's a very, very strong, strong, strong scent. So it is notes of firewood and grilled chestnuts. It's supposed to smell like winter morning. I don't know what to think of that. So I don't know how you can exactly describe firewood, chestnuts, and winter morning in a perfume. I'm just gonna sit on this, see how it does throughout the day. All right, and next up we have a dry shampoo from Amika. I love Amika products. Um, as you know, I've been dyeing my hair um, different colors, and Amika has actually been really, really good at not stripping the color out. And I'm really excited to try more of their line. And plus, dry shampoo, if you color your hair, dry shampoo is your best friend. It helps extend the longevity of your hair. You don't have to wash it as often. And honestly, it saves time. It saves so much time using dry shampoo. You can't go forever on it, but for the in-between washings, it's it's a game changer. I'm just saying. Next up, we have a mascara. This is the Lash Craft Big Volume Mascara. This is the Sephora brand. Um, this is their own personal mascara or own personal brand. Um, Ulta has their own brand too, but Sephora. I don't really know which one is better. I haven't had a chance to really try much from either, so I'm excited to give this a try. And it is a sample size. I'm kind of surprised they didn't give us a full size with it being their brand. Just saying. And the packaging's kind of cute. Kind of looks good with my hair. 
It's a nice shaped wand, actually. Oh, and um, guys, I've been talking to you kind of more about my backdrop, my background, what I'm going to be doing with it. This is kind of what's happening whenever I'll say I need wallpaper or something to cover it because this is what they left me with. So I kind of want to put something over it here and then that way I can attach my shelves to the wall because I really miss seeing my makeup out on display. So I need to get that up as soon as possible. I cannot wait. Next up, I have a sample size of the Dr. Jart Tiger Grass. This is a color correcting treatment. This neutralizes redness and protects skin, improves the skin's appearance to be vibrant. I actually have tried this. I do like it. I've gotten it and yeah, it's a green. You know, green counteracts redness. If you have dark under eye circles, I do. The peachiness counteracts the purpleness under your eyes. Um, it's just simple color correction, but I do want to say this is more, I can't wear this under my makeup. I think it says that you can, but for me, it just seems to, it's almost like it's too thick for my skin and my foundation, it mixes with it into a weird paste. It just doesn't do my skin any favors. But if you're on a day when you're not wearing anything, this is really, really good. And I'm really glad that I have another one of this because my sample that I got of this before, I think from MC Bag, that one I've actually ran out of. So I have a backup now and I'm very happy. The next item, this is from Super Goop. The name alone has me sold. Just Super Goop. That's just that's such a fun name. And this is the Unseen Sunscreen, the Broad Spectrum SPF 40. This is, or blah, blah, blah. it is SPF 40. And this is to be water and sweat resistant up to 40 minutes. So that's pretty cool. And it is a weightless, colorless, scentless, oil-free formula. Sunscreen, obviously, is very, very important for your skin to prevent damage. And I wasn't the best to my skin whenever I was younger. And the main reason was, especially my face, sunscreen, every time I would put it on before, you know, the sunscreen that you put on your body, I would buy it from Walmart and, or my mom would buy it from Walmart, and I couldn't put it on my face because it would turn my face into an absolute oil slick, and it would just be a matter of time, I would have super, super bad breakouts on my skin. So this, I'm really, really glad, <laughs> I'm really, really glad to be getting this because um, I've heard really good things about this, and people have been wearing this, I think they wear it under their makeup, and they haven't had any problems with it. See? Okay. Um, I didn't finish reading everything whenever I was looking at earlier. Um, it is oil-free formula for your face that smooths the appearance of pores, grips makeup in place, and leaves a velvety soft matte finish. Perfect for all skin tones. So I, this may be something I need to keep in my collection. I'm going to try it out and see if it breaks out my skin. Just because I have more of a sensitive skin top, it gets irritated fairly easily so if this does everything that it claims to i'm super super happy with it and i will definitely be buying full size and the last item that we have this is from makeup forever this is the ultra hd um invisible cover foundation i've actually got like this is the third one of these i have gotten um i keep getting the foundations the makeup forever and if this is the one i'm thinking of i'm okay with it yes this foundation, I I think I was low on the little ones that I had. I love this foundation. I need to go ahead and just buy it. But if I keep getting samples of it, I kind of don't need to, if you know what I mean. Okay, I was right. I have gotten two samples of that exact foundation from Makeup Forever. And I have gotten two samples of another one from Makeup Forever. This is the Ultra HD Perfector. This is a blurring skin tint with SPF. I, they, they're really, really popular sending out um, foundations. But, you know, if they're going to keep sending me foundations, I have no trouble at all using every bit of this because it is really, really good. This one, the Invisible Cover, it is like it suggests. It's very, very sheer to medium coverage. It is buildable, but not anything that is, you know, if you're someone who likes a full coverage face, you're not going to like it. Just, you're just not. You might as well skip out on it. But for those, I really like it. It doesn't leave any cakiness behind. It lasts all day. It's basically, it's a little bit more than a tinted moisturizer, but I really enjoy it, so I am glad. It looks like the packaging is a little bit bigger than the ones they have given us. Oh, they, they got me. Okay, I was thinking it looks bigger around. Yeah, it's bigger around than the other one is, but it is shorter, so it's still the same amount of product. I'm trying to see... 
yeah five milliliters so it is the exact same size and I've got a couple of different shades the new one that I got is R2030 I've got Y225 and Y245 these are a little bit more yellow as the name suggests so this should be a little bit more of a peach undertone so I'm excited to give that a try but that is everything that I got in this month's box um I think it was okay I had you know, there's a couple of products that are kind of hit and miss, but that's how it is with any of these subscription boxes. And for $10 a month, I can't really complain that much. I will get a chance to use everything. And in case it's something that I get and I know I'm not going to use, then I just save myself $30 to $40 instead of buying that product. I know not to worry about it. <laughs> so, all right, guys, that is everything that we have to talk about in today's video. Comment down below if you get Sephora Play and what kind of products did you get in your box. And also, guys don't do like me they send you these 50 beauty insider points i always forget to use these i always forget that i have one of these cards and i need to start sticking them just go and put it straight in my wallet that way i can go ahead and get those extra points because it's 100 points to get something off of the sephora website the samples that they have but you know over time it's going to add up just go ahead it's a little bonus there um Oh, this is cute. It has a little kitty cat on it. All right. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you so much for taking time to watch this video. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Yeah. Your what? Why your wallet? What you plan on doing? You plan on buying some stuff? <laughs> you don't need to buy anything. You need to buy me stuff. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs>